Okay, Google, show me. Where is my Valentine's? You are late, human. Look, Google, I think we're better off as friends. Not to mention, I'm already married. How about we clear the air with a joke? What's the scariest letter of the alphabet? I am ready to receive your punchline. V, because it comes after you. I wish this challenge was already finished. Rude. G'day Art Adventurers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher and I am continuing on with my Alphabet Animal Art Series today where I ask Google to make me draw animals one for each letter of the English alphabet. And I'm up to the letter W. W is for Wallaby. Once again, Google wants to give me an animal that is almost a kangaroo, but not a kangaroo. They're fun to draw, so I went with it. And if you look carefully, you might notice that I'm breaking one of my self-imposed rules here. Instead of using my sketchbook here, I have received a Palpal Pax Premier, Premier, Premier for February, and it contained some Bristol paper that was just too good to pass up. So I'm using this bad boy instead. It's kind of irking me that I'm going to have a sketchbook without the whole alphabet in it. But on the other hand, I was also getting sick of the same paper and the same surface over and over again. I guess I'm the kind of artist that likes to mix things up. And I'm also today doing another collab. It's super exciting to see how many other YouTube peeps want to collab in this project with me. This collab is with the wonderful pan-dimensional space on me. That's quite a mouthful. Also known as CJ, I believe. She's actually the first person along with April Rain's fine art that I ever did a collab with way back last year when we did the dictionary challenge together. It was really fun too, so I might do that again sometime soon. CJ will also be doing um, animals starting with W. Very likely, it seems Google likes to give the same things to people. She'll also be doing a wallaby. We'll see. So for this piece, as you can see here, I'm working with Karen Brush Marker Pros. These are something that was also in this box for February's Palpful Pack premiere and you also got some in the petite box as well. I've never seen anything like them before. It's kind of like if the Zig real color clean brushes or watercolor brushes had a baby with a Copic marker. They're water based but they have a brush tip like a Copic. And they're also like if they had a baby with chameleon markers as well where you can touch the tips together and transfer ink and then get a color gradation so you're able to do a lot with quite a few colors. We got a lot of blues in this set and if you got the premiere pack you also got a really intense green because I always get a green curse and a really vibrant almost fluorescent yellow that tinges with a greenish hue to it as well and I decided to play those up because if you're not aware Australia has the sporting or Olympic colors of green and gold and so they're very Australian colors really doesn't really make any sense to me why because our flag is red white and blue but there you go our other main colors are green and gold for Australia and since I got another Aussie animal the wallaby I decided to really punch that up also my color choices were quite limited to blues green and yellow so I also decided to go with a Valentine's kind of theme or at least not like romantic love but the sense of love theme the love of this wallaby mother for her child and you can even see a little stylized love heart coming out of the the head of the little baby wallaby I'm not sure how clear that comes across I didn't really want it to be obvious and I didn't have a pink or a reddish color anyway so I just kind of 
hit it in with all the flowers. Speaking of, this is one of my most uh, detailed backgrounds for the whole alphabet. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I did a whole range of Aussie flowers. So there are kangaroos paw because it's another macropod. Wallabies are very much looking like a kangaroo just with stubbier legs. And also waratahs and maybe one or two other flowers that are astray in nature. You often get red waratah flowers and also red kangaroo paws, but you can get yellow ones as well. It also took quite a long time with the background and all the detail work, so that's why you're only getting the letter W today. I hope you enjoyed this piece and I really hope that you'll also stop by Pendimensional Space Zombies channel to see what she's come up with as well. Don't forget to also take your guesses below for the letters X. If you've already guessed, I'll go back and check and why it's getting really close to the end which is exciting and scary and weird if you're new here i would love for you to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell and leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think of these karen brush marker pros or my little wallaby piece i hope everyone had a great valentine's day or just gonna have a really chill weekend take care Don't forget to also take your guesses below for the letters V.